Good morning from my extreme, extreme mess of an apartment. I don't think I've ever had it in this condition, but there's just no way for it not to be given I'm rearranging everything and just changing up everything. I do like that my bedroom is really open now. Like that's really lovely that it's just like all open, but yeah, welcome to what I eat in a day. Um, going to show you what I'm, you know, eating on a very like just a messy day in my life. I'm going to go work out and no, my hair does not always look like this when I wake up. I just happened to wash it yesterday and my hair will like stay when it's washed. So that is, that is a little cute. Uh, I'll stop. I'll stop looking at myself. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go work out as usual. I do not really, I don't eat in the like morning. I'm just not hungry until around like noon usually. So it takes me a few hours. So I'm going to go work out. We'll see when I get back, and hopefully I have some time to rearrange my apartment, make it a little bit cleaner and more presentable during that. I just when I got coffee with a friend, I was running like a little bit late, like I was trying to work, and so I didn't bring my camera, but I did go just like get coffee with a friend, and it started pouring rain, and it's like so, it feels like I'm living in the Arctic or somewhere where it never is light out because it's been so cold and rainy the past few days. But on my way back, I stopped and got my favorite smoothie. So this is the Genius Blueberry Pro or fucking Genius Blueberry Protein Smoothie from Juice Press. I've talked about this before. It's my favorite smoothie in New York. I do really like mint chocolate chip smoothies, but when it's literally 20 degrees outside, I don't want a mint chocolate chip smoothie. So I get mine. Um, I do half cauliflower, half banana, because like, why not get the, the veggies added basically. And I also got a bunch of the ginger fireballs from there. They're like little uh, ginger shot drinks that are so good in my opinion. Yeah, I just, I love, I fucking love ginger shots. So have that and I'm back and my apartment is all clean because while I was out, I, um, yeah, my housekeeper came by and I need to take my supplements. My good friend sent me a bunch of these like CBD things. Like I have this CBD um, whatever this is. Let me just like show you and I'll shout them out. It is from True Hemp Science. Um, yeah, they sent me a bunch of these like through a, shit, through a friend and I need to start taking them and like test them out and see how they are because they said it would help me a lot with like, I don't know, just things that like my overwork, overstress. But as for my supplements that I'm about to take, I am about to take a probiotic I take probiotics because like why not? Uh, I don't really have bad digestion, but like why not? I take omega-3, also I never had imbalances or a bad omega-3 to 6 ratio, but like why not take omega-3? Like I travel a lot, can't always make sure I'm eating seaweed, etc. so I take that. Um, even though I do have seaweed here because phenomenal. And then um, I take B12 and D3. This is the supplement that I think most people should look into taking because I'm in New York. It's not particularly bright outside. Like I should probably be taking D3. It's the only thing I've ever been deficient in, even though I am not deficient in it anymore and haven't been for years. And then B12 because most people, everyone should be supplementing B12 basically. Not, not medical advice, but like maybe look into it if you are not already. Um, as a vegan, I am not eating animal products that were fed B12. Animals are fed B12 generally. They're not like inherently B12 machines. Um, so I take that. Um, I think I'm going to have this um, and then also probably make some avocado and rice cakes and like have that because I need, I need to use up these fucking rice cakes. But first, probiotic. I just like fucking don't dry swallow honestly. And then gummy, because gummies are superior. <laughs> this is what you get in a what I eat in a day. Marin taking gummies. Shit, I'm running out of these. I'm not actually. And yeah, ginger fireball. These are not ginger shots, it's like orange juice. Highly recommend, good soup. This is really thick because it was cold outside. It might be a spoon smoothie again. Yeah, gonna need a spoon for that. I have client, I have like a, a returning client that I see 
monthly I need to prep for, need to need to work, but um gonna make I'll probably yeah, wanna make those those avocado rice cakes as well. We did it, Joe. We did it. Scooping out the ugly part and now going to mash mash this. Okay, let's try to do this in like a in a decent way. I kind of gave up on smushing this, but I know if I put too much on a rice cake, it'll fall apart. So easier to do just this anyway. This is like realistic. Like we'll have a pretty overnight oats situation, but this, this is not pretty. Okay, so this is mashed. This is fine. I'm gonna add some pepper and some everything but the bagel. And this is kind of like, I don't know, kind of depressing. So I think I'm gonna eat some of this. This like, this is just some plant-based like cookie dough basically with it. Cause like, yeah, gonna, gonna do that. Actually, fuck it, let's add some nutritional yeast as well. There we go. This is, this is a very sad like post smoothie just thing but I mean want to use up rice cakes and avocado so for now this is a good a good like part two snack situation I am going to make some overnight oats I really prefer overnight oats to cooked oats so I don't know what flavor I'm going to do I tend to put pumpkin puree in my overnight oats so they're like always pumpkin pie overnight oats it just like makes them creamy and cool, and sometimes I bake them after they've been sitting for just like a crispy top. But I'm gonna look around, decide what flavor I want so that I can make some for in a few hours when I have them. Hopefully it stops like fucking raining and pouring and becomes a little, or I guess it's kind of cozy, like oatmeal, it's raining and shit. So yeah, gonna make those. Okay, overnight oats, let's go. First thing you need, or not even overnight, <clears throat> like few hour oats. First thing you need, rolled oats. I do between half a cup and two thirds of a cup, so I generally just do like a heaping half cup. It ends up being about two thirds. I don't have to use two scoopers. Boom, there you go. Next thing, if you know me, you know I like to put psyllium husk in my oats because it makes it fluffy. The bag broke that I was using, so now I'm just using like a Ziploc bag. You want about a teaspoon, so like I'm just doing that. <laughs> then I just got this new protein. I just got it off Thrive Market. It's the new Teva Plant Protein Smoothie and Vanilla. I usually, when I do get protein, Jesus Christ, let me see if I can open this. When I do get protein, I generally get unflavored hemp, but occasionally I will try something new. I had a chocolate protein for a few months that I never used up because of travel, and it was just like kind of grainy and gross. So went for a new one. We'll see how this one is. I like the reviews. I like the ingredients, blah, blah, blah. And smelling it smells vanilla. So, oh, I hate getting my hands dirty and the scooper is like, eek. That in. Then obviously cinnamon. I'm a big cinnamon person, so that's a given. Going to mix all this up. Not too difficult, just kind of like, yeah. Next thing is the actual pumpkin. I just do like a dollop. I don't know. That's that's good. It's probably around a fourth cup. I'm going to take this is just some almond milk from Thrive Market. See if that's enough. If not, I might add some water just because protein powder soaks up a lot. So it's just easier to use water until like, yeah, I need some water because protein powder will like take in that liquid. So I like really thick oats, but for psyllium husk and protein powder, you're going to need a fair amount of liquid anyway. It could be easier to just blend all of this together in a Vitamix. You would have blended oats, but it'll sit the same because it's the same ingredients. It'll just be a little bit less oaty and more powdery, but that can be really nice. So maybe I do that tomorrow or something. Um, gonna add a little bit more water because when this sits in the fridge, it'll soak up even more. But definitely very cakey, which I like. If you know me, you like my, I like my oats, my acai bowls, my smoothie bowls, very thick. Like I want my smoothie bowls 
eatable, edible, edible with a fork. That's what I want. And the last thing I'm going to do is add a few drops of stevia. The protein powder already has some stevia in it, so I know I don't need to add too much. Or it has monk fruit or something, but I have a sweet tooth, so I add just a few drops. That's probably like three or four drops, and then I just stir that in. So that's pretty easy. And the final thing I'm going to do is add some frozen raspberries in here because I really like the texture of what happens when you put frozen berries in the fridge in overnight oats. I think the texture really improves. So this can be kind of difficult, so I'm just kind of like throwing in, throwing in some pieces. Come on, berries. <laughs> Does not really need to be super exact. These will melt. I'd like a little bit more. Let me try to get a little bit more of these, this berry action. So now this goes in the fridge for a few hours and I will get it out later. Okay, this looks very sad, but like also kind of artistic. Okay, yeah, this is cute. This is cute. Let's get out some, some cashew butter, shall we? This cashew butter is thick, like literal cement. I love it. Let's do, do a dollop. Also do some cacao nibs. And just for the aesthetic, I like to add a little bit of like sweetener on top just to like do the thing. Very dark rainy ass day in here. So cute little overnight oats, I suppose. I always forget to put my electric cloud like promo code in the description. So remembering, remembering will be the one thing I have to do for this video. Editing everything outsourced because I uh, have no artistic skills when it comes to this shit. I know what I can do? I can include the promo code so you guys can get like discount electric cloud. Um, it's the drink that I like, like it's just really cool. They're like CBD drinks. I don't feel anything from the CBD cause I don't think there's enough in there. I need to honestly take like the CBD or the spagyric CBD, hemp CBD, CBD moon. Like I should, should I try these tonight? These like gummies? I'm a little scared, 25 milligrams. Is that a lot? Is that a lot of CBD? I need to look that up. Um, but yeah, let's, let's try these. I think there's, I don't think there's THC in this. I think this is just CBD. Hemp oil, is that CBD? Oh, I don't fucking know, I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's do an orange, a peach, juicy peach electric cloud. Let's do this. I actually hate opening. I hate opening like bottles like this. I refuse to drink out of bottles. Ever since I was a kid, I just actually hated something about it. I just, re I, I really, really dislike drinking from this sort of thing. And so when I was a kid, I used to have my mom get really mad at me and say that I was being like picky or difficult. But I just really, really, really dislike drinking out of cans. I, even the word for some reason, like I just really, really dislike it. So instead I drink out of Slytherin mugs. Now, just easy dinner, gonna do Onions, carrots, spinach, tofu. Yeah, probably like a tofu scramble. Was considering air frying my tofu, but like, do I want to? Do we want to just do a tofu scramble? I think we're just gonna do a tofu scramble and uh, call it a day. Like a messy, gross, but realistic meal. I could do the whole influencer, like, I don't know, like really pretty, like crispy chickpeas, like pink pickled cabbage kimchi, edamame, like the really cute bowl. But has that ever been me? No, we throw shit together and it's all of like red and yellow, ironically. I don't really wear yellow, but yeah. But before that, as always, I have my daily Brazil nuts because selenium. Actually, I feel like two. I hope I don't die of too much selenium.
This is the literal pile of mush. I'm not gonna pretend that this, like this, this is <laughs> onions, carrots. I added cauliflower rice. Uh, I forgot I had some and I wanna use it up. Tofu in there. Yeah, I mean, it's very, and I have some seaweed because if you know me, you know I love seaweed. So if I'm ever at home, like I just love having seaweed. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, for all intents and purposes, uh, this is a pile of mush, but you know, it's, it's fine. Tastes good though. Excellent. Okay, the last thing that I am having today is this peanut butter puffs cereal plant-based cookie dough. I love this stuff. It's from, let me see, Hit Nutrition. I've gotten literally every flavor. I have another flavor here, which is iced oatmeal. They just came out with an Oreo flavor. I feel like I'm like advertising them. I just like, <laughs> I saw this as an Instagram ad and if you know me, you know I'm into like weird random nut butters. So this is like a protein nut butter and it's like dates, almond butter, yeah, protein, sugar, crispy cereal. This is like peanut butter puffs crispy cereal in there. It's just like cookie dough, nut butter basically. I'm just gonna have the rest of this because it's like half gone and I'm just like, I finished this whole thing in like two days always because it's so good. I have the iced oatmeal one here as well, and it's like iced oatmeal cookie, I think that's it. Um, I really like their their brownie cookie one. That's probably my favorite so far. I really like, just their other flavors are pretty good, but I like the peanut butter puff one. Let me get some out. So like to see it, it's basically a nut butter, but a little bit, like you can tell there's dates in there basically. It's a little bit thicker. But that is all I'm going to have today. Hope this was like a good representation. It was a fairly good representation. I guess it was. It was low maintenance, not too pretty. Typical day of what I would have. So hope this was a good, good, good uh, day back vlogging. Took a little break from vlogging, obviously after Vlogmas, because that was intense, but definitely want to do like three vlogs a week. I think I can manage. So yeah, sending all the love and I will see you in the next one.